Oh, it is Men in Blazers Euro 2000 and Copa presented to you by Volpe, which is, I've got to tell you, it is almost, like, almost like a green card. It is quality. Look at that. <laughs> I've got to tell you, this is the official protein partner of US soccer. And I understand why they're doing so well in the Copa. Wow, far in the hole. <laughs> we are all waiting for Tuesday and victory. I'm here, Rog, with my gorgeous mate, Aaron Dessner, one of the most noble midfielders to ever grace the game other than Tab Ramos in the United States of America. We are focused on Tuesday night's Copa semi-final. We are just trying to get ourselves to it. And God, we're going to have to make do with an incredible day of some Europe. Some small, small happenings Yes, yeah, some in small happenings. Right? I mean, in the evening... Europe time, afternoon American time today. Portugal will play Austria. Good jersey! Before that, <laughs> Iceland will take on Hungary. Fascinating underdog battle. I want to ask you, Aaron Dessler, everyone wants to ask you this. Who's your gent of the day? Well, I've got a, a, a villain, Pepe. Oh, he's a man Portugal. of wonder. I just want to say to Pepe, what you do in this life will echo in eternity. Don't cut anybody down. Oh my God, I'm haunted myself. <laughs> you spoke to Pepe. But he's you really the, he's the villain in Braveheart. I think you spoke I'm to all of us. I'm quoting Braveheart. I think you spoke to all of us. And I've got to tell you, all of us are repenting. He probably yes. will cut somebody down. <laughs> With glee. With absolute glee. Every sport needs a villain, a heel. Pepe delights in being that heel. I want to talk about glory because I'm trying to be an optimist uh, right now. I am, as many of you know, Obsessed with the Icelandic football story. Tomorrow is a Sunday. Today is Saturday. And on Saturday, they play <laughs> Hungary. Two of the big surprises of the tournament so far clashing. Hungary shocked Austria. Christian Fuchs, Austria, in their first game. Ireland, uh, another team in another league. We're talking about Iceland. They frustrated Ronaldo and Portugal. I adore this Icelandic team. They're like an epic Nordic ballad. Come to life at BC Thomas sent us a beautiful 19th century Icelandic lullaby, which goes like this. You'd sing this to your children. And I think this sums up Icelandic football. You sing this to your children. Sleep, you black eyed pig, fall into a deep pit of ghosts. And when I think about that, this man, Aaron Gunnarsson, kind of sums it up more than anybody. He is a captain of a team. When you meet him, he says, I'm not like the others. I'm not skilled. I'm not technical. And I said to him, what are you? He said, I am a Viking, which in English <laughs> is a Viking. He is a Viking, self-proclaimed Viking. The V is a W. Yeah, it is. In that but God love it. I am Viking. And Cristiano Ronaldo, who refused to exchange jerseys with him after the Portugal game, found out just what that V and that W absolutely means. I think he's going to have a fantastic game tomorrow, and I believe Iceland will be glorious again. None of it matters. The only thing that does matter is this. And also, The Day of the Dead, a fantastic album, curated, produced by this talented man by me who could have been playing for the US on Tuesday night, but who decided to ded himself, dedicate himself to a life Strong and music. fast. Yeah, you were strong oh well. and fast. <laughs> you were really, in your day and age, you were the Ali Bedoya of the Cincinnati area. <laughs> we'll be okay Hard with that, to say yeah. what was good about me, but secret sauce. Oh, secret sauce. <laughs> that translates to Bring it on Tuesday. Waking.